Hello everyone, today we have new video review with kit from Brain Gun. Here you will be able to check another video review with kit from the same manufacturer. And don't forget to visit our website here so that you can read full review article with this kit and see detailed photos and text in English and Russian. In case you don't see this link, it should be in the description below. So just click it and read full review. Uh, this is a new 170 second scale kit, Yak-1 from 1941 and it comes in this nice small box with uh, attractive box art. Here you can see comparison with my hand size, so it's not that big. And on the back side we have marking options for four camouflage versions. And on the sides there are some safety devices and information about the company. So let's open this box and see what's inside. As you can see there is not plenty of space, all plastic screws are packed into one plastic bag. So now just give me a second, I'll open it and we will take a closer look. You can see that plastic screws are molded out of grey plastic, which is a bit unusual for brain gun. For example, recent Preboy and also Zlin were molded out of sand covered plastic, and now we have this grey covered plastic. So, first plastic screw is dedicated to fuselage halves. Those are molded together with tail segment and rudder as you can see here. And also note that here we have separate top cooling section which should be installed here. And the same can be said about the bottom section of the tail segment. Inside there is a minor frame and detailing, so it should look nice after some careful painting and weathering. And of course there should be some add-ons made out of plastic and PE parts. Here is the uh, second plastic sprue. This one is dedicated to small plastic parts. Here you can see them. Also some external elements. Note that propeller is attached in the middle. Overall molding quality is good I would say. There are minor amounts of flesh around some parts. But it will be easy to clean them so it's nothing serious. And let's not forget that this is uh, not, let's say, uh, beginner's kit because there are no position pins on the fuselage halves, no position pins on the wing parts. For example here you can see wing parts. Parts division is typical but there are no position or guiding elements. There is a wheel well detailing and flaps and ailerons are molded in so you won't be able to drop them on your model. And here you can see tail wings which are molded as one piece parts. Next we have transparent. Um, Back, this one is dedicated to resin parts <coughs> and also transparent parts. So here you can see the canopy parts. So you will be able to replicate open canopy on your aircraft. And here we have resin parts. Those should be used for landing gear wheels and some cockpit elements. I will zoom a camera so that you can see them closer. Here they are. So those are typical brand gun resin parts, nothing special would say in a good sense and no unpleasant surprises. Next we have decals packed into one plastic bag with PE thread, so just give me a second, I will remove it and we will check what's inside. Okay, so here is a small decal sheet uh, which should come handy for four marking options which we saw before and then we have separately molded, uh, actually separately etched PE thread. So here we have for example dashboard, some wing parts and overall quality looks quite nice. But you will have to paint the dashboard because it's, as you can see, not painted. And last but not the least is assembly manual. This one comes in form of this nice small brochure with parts map on the front page. Then we have assembly process, which starts from the uh, cockpit, of course. And in 15 steps in total, we get the final result, Yak-1. So that's all for this video review. I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, don't forget to read full review article on our website. I will be happy to hear your opinion in the comment section below. And of course, like this video, subscribe to our YouTube channel and share this video with your friends. Thank you for watching and see you soon. Bye.